inspire, empower, grab your girls and soar a little higher, unlock the fire in you, cause real women don't bitch, no, real women don't, 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 bitch. Hey, 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 thank you for joining me on the Real Women Don't Bitch podcast. This is your proud host, August Crenshaw, a.k.a. Mrs. Raw, Real and Relentless. I am the number one advanced mental conditioning specialist for entrepreneurs because building mental muscle is necessary in order to implement successful business strategies. This show has been created for the woman who is not excuse driven and needs help building a profitable business. I will be interviewing women from various fields who are willing to break the silence on struggles that specifically affect female entrepreneurs. Welcome to a show where I and guest speakers from time to time share our methods that help us beast our business no matter what is going on in our lives. Whether you are an online or brick and mortar business owner, this show is for you. We will hit every angle, personal, professional, and spiritual. Why? Because on any given day, you get hit with shit from a scenario involving one, more, or perhaps all of the above. It all impacts you and your mindset towards your business. I have made it my personal mission to provide a space where we dive deep into the BS we face on a day-to-day basis. Hey, 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 ladies, what's going on? How are you doing out there on your side of the planet? Look, (laughs) I have pet peeves. Yeah, I have strong opinions and I think a lot of us do, right? I'm not the only person that's picky as hell out there in the world. And I want to talk about one of them today because if I don't, it potentially will ruin your business. Man, it, it's crazy. But I have one question. Why is it that you won't read? Yeah, not a book. Nope, 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 nope. That is not what I mean. I am so sick and tired of entrepreneurs looking and saying, oh, okay, yeah, she's uh, doing a class on this. I, I want to be a part of that. Uh, let me let me click the link and let me sign up. And then after that, sending me a ton of emails asking all of the questions that were in that first introductory email. But you missed it because you didn't read. You know, I remember I sent an email to somebody. We had made up a special arrangement for something. And I sent an email, you know, outlining all the details of everything. And then very plainly, the instruction said, respond to this email in this manner. And they never responded. And I was like, oh, okay. When I reached out to them and said, well, you know, the time has expired. We won't be doing that. Oh, oh, what are you talking about? I was like, hey, you know, I sent the email. You didn't respond. I assumed that you changed your mind and I'm just literally doing this as a courtesy for my own paper trail, sending you an email saying that, you know, the deal is off. And they were like, wait a minute. Oh, my bad. You know, I got a habit of just, you know, looking at over things really quickly and perusing them and then going on about my business. Look, I understand if you got a spam to email coming to your mailbox and you look at it and be like, yeah, nah, I'm not interested in that shit. But entrepreneurs, I don't I don't even want to look at this from the standpoint of if you opted in for my stuff, why don't you think about it from your side? You come up with your freebie, your challenge, uh, you follow, you come up with your follow up sequence to, you know, help people after they sign up for a paid product or service. You, you send out information because people are going to collaborate with you. You've sat down, you've taken the time to to do all of this work have it has has this happened to you i mean think about it how does it feel for you to send out everything that someone needs to know and then they start you get a, a plethora of messages 
um, you know, I signed up for your challenge, but, you know, where am I supposed to go? What am I supposed to do? And, you know, or if you set up appointments, is this going to be recorded? Is it live? Or, and it said, here's your Zoom link, meeting link. Look, you could think that it's something very simple and that it's not that big of a deal. It is a big deal. Because that's what you're habituated to. Like I said, I'm not talking about random everyday emails from any and everybody. I'm talking about when you sign up for a product or service, when you're engaging in a collaborative experience, you need to learn to pause and read everything. And then when you haven't read, you need to take the time to take your ass back and go reread because there's nothing worse than you coming back and saying, oh, yeah, where's that link? And I'm going to tell you something, the kind of individual that I am, I write everything down. I do live videos and I say things multiple times. As a matter of fact, those of you that have been listening to the podcast long enough, you'll notice that whenever I'm doing episodes that kind of maybe fall more into the scope of actually teaching, I say things over and over again, sometimes the exact same way, sometimes slightly different. A lot of times I'll say something, pause, come back and say the same thing again. It's like a teacher, you know, remember when you were in school, if I say this more than once, or if it's written in bold in the book, nine times out of 10, it's going to be on the test. And, you know, that's, that's a, that's a pet peeve of mine to know that I gave you all the information that you needed to know. When you heard me on the live video on Facebook, I told you where everything was going to be and how it was going to be. When you got the email, I put all of the bullet points in there. When you got the next email, I reminded you of the most significant things. And a lot of you, you don't even think about it, but usually when you finally decide to ask the questions is when you are in the middle of like, oh my God, this is getting ready to start and I'm anxious because I'm running late or I'm behind schedule. When all you have to do is read, 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 read. And I, and it broke my heart the other day because I went to a networking, a long, an online networking event. And when I went to click on the event page, I couldn't find the description. And so I'm just like clicking on all these different things. And I'm like, oh my God, I need to be able to find the link to get on this meeting. And I couldn't, but even though I did go ahead and message the woman, I immediately kept reading. I went to my, went to my email to see if there's a confirmation email with the link in it. That wasn't the case. I looked on the main page to see if I could see it. And for whatever reason, you know, Facebook is always doing something weird and changing the position and the things, but I went and exercised due diligence to find it myself. When I go through all of this work to create these emails, woman, do me the favor of actually opening up the email to read it. With that being said, a lot of you that have applied for the podcast, do you know that that's why you've never been a participant? It doesn't take a lot to get on this podcast because I even allow beginners to come on here because as long as you're very thorough and knowledgeable and you're willing to be transparent about where you are in your journey right now, you can be on the podcast. But after I give a breakdown of everything, the bottom line of that most important email says, please respond to this email and let me know that you received it. When people sign up for the podcast, The thank you page tells them to go and fill out the application. The email says go fill out the application and set the 30 minute connection call. I have people that never set the connection call. I have people say, hey, what kind of questions are you going to ask? I need to, you know, be, you know, prepared. And I'm like, so the email that went over the types of things you need to be prepared to respond to, you didn't get it. You didn't read it. Come on, y'all. Or when I get somebody and they're like, oh, girl, I didn't know I was supposed to be all cute. You do these and you you record video. Um, The email said that. The email said that. And so I'm sitting here talking about stuff that's really simple. But if you're doing this with the simple things, trust me, you get a little lazy. You're not going to convince me. That when you're reading contracts or you're doing something else, that you don't get a little lazy too. I know you do. 
because I've had people that have signed contracts to work with me and it says you got three weeks on, you got one week off. And if you miss it, that's on you. And they'll be like, they'll do their first three weeks, they'll miss a week. They'll do the second three weeks and then they'll miss a week. And then when it's time to register for the, by the time they get to the third month, somebody usually always falls off. And a lot of times I'll just sit back and it'll be right there before the very last minute that I'll be like, you didn't schedule your sessions for this next three, for these next rounds. And then it's like, oh, and since they can't get the date that they want, they'll just be like, okay, I'll skip another week and then do the three. No, 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 no. That's not what the contract said. Because I'm going to tell you, like for me, honestly, when people start trying to say, oh, I missed one, but let me just go ahead and schedule these next three. It throws the scheduling off. And before you know it, it shifts things out a week. And when your deadline is up, that's why a lot of times I send clients. These are your weeks on. These are your weeks off. This is your last week of support. Whether you remember to keep up with all of your sessions or not, because what we not going to do and me being gracious and letting you make up stuff is six and a half, seven months later, we still doing the same coaching package when you should be renewing and going into your next one. So what are you not reading? What are you lackadaisical about reading and what are you creating and how is it going to offend you or get on your nerves when nobody reads your stuff? I'm going to be in a girlfriend's challenge coming up. As a matter of fact, it starts um, on the day this podcast airs. And she had 39 people say that they were interested in her challenge. And only four of us actually signed up and went into the group because only four of us read all of the details of what we were supposed to do. Hmm. My pet peeve, not reading. And it's going to get you in a heck of a lot of trouble. Okay, simple nugget. Let's keep this um, down in under 10 minutes. I love you, ladies. And I will see you on Monday. Monday, we're going live. Remember, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Every Monday, we're going live. All you have to do is go to the Created Business page on Facebook. If you type in at Created, you may need to put in the 75. Usually, I'm the one that pops up at the top, and my picture is on the profile. If you go to the event there, you will see all of the information. All you got to do is use the Zoom app. No, I don't have a 1-800 number to give you. There are different numbers that you can get access to and dial if you're in different countries. But if you just come in through Zoom, you don't have to worry about how much it costs or any of those things. And you can ask your questions live. All right. So in the meantime, in between time, this is your girl, August Crenshaw. I'm going to get out of here. You all have a beautiful day. Deuces. Thank you for joining me today. Remember to cultivate a mindset that is biased towards taking action. No bitching, whining, or complaining. Here our mantra is, real women don't bitch, we get shit done. See you next week as I continue to bring you what you need to keep your head in the game and beast your business. Don't forget to hit subscribe and leave us a five-star review. Would you like a specific topic covered? Have a question you would like answered live? Then head on over to realwomendon'tbitchpodcast.com. Subscribe to my email list. Hit me up and I got you. Interested in being a guest speaker? You walk the walk? Then you can sign up on the website too. This is your number one advanced mental conditioning specialist for entrepreneurs, Mrs. Raw, Real, and Relentless. Signing out. Deuces. Inspire, empower, grab your girls and soar a little higher, unlock the fire in you, cause real